Your subscribe keeps us motivated. Subscribe now. The resultant of two factors is perpendicular to one of them and has the magnitude 4. If the sum of the magnitude of two vectors is 8 meter, then the respective magnitudes will be how much? Okay. So, first of all, let us draw here the way they are saying. If you assume that this is our vector, any vector A, and this the head of the first vector is connected to the tail of the second vector. Okay. So let me just make it a little small here. Okay. This is our any vector. B. Then the question is saying that the resultant of A and B that will be over here, which is perpendicular to the first vector R. Let me repeat the question again. The resultant of two vectors is perpendicular to one of them. So, A and B are two vectors, and the resultant you can see using head to tail method. This is perpendicular to this, this is 90 degrees. So, this is our simple right angle triangle. And magnitude of this R is nothing but 4 as per the if the sum of the magnitude of two vectors is 8 meter, then their respective magnitudes are 1. So, here it is given that magnitude of A plus magnitude of B is nothing but 8. So, what will be the magnitude of B? That will be 8 minus A. And let A is equals to x. So, what will be the magnitude of B? 8 minus x. Correct. Now, let us use the Pythagoras theorem. Using Pythagoras theorem, b square will be equals to a square plus r square. So, here b is nothing but 8 minus x whole square equals to a square which is x square and r square which is 16. Correct. So, this will be 64 plus x square minus 16x is equals to x square plus 16. Let us cancel out this x square with x square. So, taking 16 on the left hand side, 64 minus 16 is equals to 16x and that is our 48 equals to 16x. So, this implies x is equals to 3. 48 upon 16 is 3. So, if x is 3, then magnitude of a is 3 and magnitude of b is 8 minus 3 which is 5. So, 3 and 5, option c is correct.